All right, so end game for Genshin Impact, right? This is not going to be the vi type of video of uh, going over what they could do for new end game content, but this is going to be more specifically about Spiral Abyss, because like it or not, Spiral Abyss is the end game content in Genshin, because the current end game loop for Genshin Impact is getting new artifact sets or just getting artifacts with a good main stat and three good substats and leveling up those three substats or at the very least hoping to level up those three substats and not rolling defense all the goddamn time trust me that's been an issue anyway the current end game is spiral abyss whether you like it or not however the end game content is not good especially if you're free to play because Spiral Abyss resets in two weeks, two weeks, maybe three, I don't remember. So every other potentially. Not only that, but Floor 12 is basically just a damage check and not much of a challenge. It's basically saying, do you have a C6 R5 character in their best in style weapon? No, get fucked. So that's unfortunate. Not only that, but it's not worth to do just for 600 gems, in my honest opinion. So, to fix Spiral Abyss, right, we go inside really quick. So, to fix Spiral Abyss, what I would suggest is this. Floor 12 acts like Floor 9, 10, and 11. Not to mention, Floor 12 expects you to do it within 3 minutes, I think. And, which means both floors need to be done within a minute 30 seconds. Which is next to near impossible when one of the enemies is literally a boss. And their HP pool is just inflated to hell and back. So, what I think should happen... They should increase the rewards, first off. Instead of 600 uh, gems every other week, it should be 800 gems every week. What they could do is instead of 50-50-50... They do, uh, I believe it, so every floor would give 200 gems. So it would be, uh, let me think. I think I uh, thought to myself and said it would be 50, 50, and 100 for completing the final floor. So you get 200 from all four floors. Or you get 800 in total from all four floors. That would be the first fix. The second fix is instead of every other or every other other, it's every week. Just like how in uh, Honkai Star Realm, Simulating Universe gets reset every week. I'm not 100% certain about MOC, but I'm sure MOC has the same issue, and uh, that fix could also be applied to that. So that's the second thing. And the, obviously the third thing is fix Floor 12, please. Like 9, 10, and 11 are easy and simple to complete, or are challenging enough to complete in terms of three-storing, but floor 12 is literally just impossible to do. All three floors require you to do everything in a minute 30 for both halves, which means three minutes if memory serves, and the enemies just take way too much damage, or not to take way too much damage, they soak up way too much damage. Has nothing to do with skill, has nothing to do with you're using the wrong character, it has everything to do with they have too much HP, and even though I have next to near god level artifacts and a good character with a good weapon, my damage output is not good. Even though everything is at the best it could possibly be at. Like, that's not difficulty, that's just unbalanced in my eyes. So I think that could be a change. Like, Spiral Abyss is the end game content. Again, whether you like it or not, Spiral Abyss is end game. And it's the only endgame content uh, Genshin is going to get, more than likely for the foreseeable future. And that's fine. Because this is what this is what you're working towards. Spiral Abyss is the ultimate end goal to work towards, and to do, and to complete for Genshin. Because the other part of Endgame is just exploration. But even that is tedious and boring as shit. Give us Mount Toyoverse, please, I beg!